and I've got a I've got a thesis actually to to share. So what I believe could happen, and I'll draw it out and maybe revisit in a few months. I don't know, maybe. Let's find out. So what I think could happen is this. Or maybe this is obvious, I don't know. So we close tonight, highest candle close ever. Then after that, Bitcoin heads way down. Whether it heads down fast or slow, I don't know. But what I believe can happen is we start heading down. Let's say we start heading down fast. The narrative, because everything is narratives in crypto, the narrative that everyone's saying is it's a triple top. Because when it starts moving down fast, emotions go crazy. The emotions here is going to be, oh no, it's over, it's all over, it's all over, it's all over. But what they fail to realise is we've just set a, a new monthly all-time high and closed. So that's the important thing. What happens in between then and the next monthly candle close is kind of irrelevant, to be honest. The candle close is the important, the important part. So what I believe could happen is that we start to dump and then the narrative comes in, it's a triple top. It's just a triple top, it's, it's fooled everyone. But then after that, because remember the market needs to trick people, like the market tricked people back here in 2020 when Bitcoin fell 56%. But a fall from here would be, from the top would be 36%. So that is a definite possibility. And the narrative in between then is triple top. Because the narrative back here, when it dropped 50%, was that it's all over. Bitcoin's getting banned or whatever it was. China's banning Bitcoin. But in here, the narrative could be triple top. Because if uh, another scenario, which I don't think is 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 likely in the slightest, um, is very unlikely, is that we rip higher in a straight line. The only negative that comes with ripping up in a straight line is that with any parabolic uptrend, and any asset ever is with a parabolic uptrend after it comes a massive dump, so 56% dump. So if we're to go skyrocketing up, it will be down like this, as soon as it's up, it doesn't last long. But if we correct in here instead, that'd be more healthy, then we can head up higher. I'll leave this on here and see how we go on. And then as we can see here, three months on the update, it is starting to head down. So the reason for showing you this and the reason for putting this out in the first place is to set expectations for the market and to set emotions for what can come next. So during those times, of course, you think it can only go up, it can only go higher. But in those moments, if you say no, it's more than likely it's going to correct because that's what it does every time before, every cycle. Then when it, it comes to fruition and it starts to correct as it should do, you can reflect back on that and say, look, I was prepared for this anyway. I knew it was going to happen. It is what it is. We are on track exactly as we should be. So yeah, that is why we are making this video right now. So let's get back to the video back three months ago when prices were super high and see what else was being said. So remember in the last bull market, Bitcoin crashed over 50%. Over 50%. So even if we have a massive crash here, all the way down to here, that's only 30%. 50% would be like here. That'd be scary. <laughs> That'd be scary stuff. That's why profit taking is essential. Profit taking planning is essential. Because that big red line can come at any time. And how much profit have you took when that red line comes? But let's have a look at the altcoin market. 